is such a deep river, grandmother would say. Makes you think you've got fame to swim yourself immortal, and then show you how quick the sand can disappear. Gives you a moment to catch your breath overseas, and then call you to capsize back home. It's funny how memory can omit pain, how familiar can parade as joy. I wonder if Marion knew what she was returning to, if she stored all of her reasonable expectations, if she found that home was a creaking house, one that knew her footsteps but still could not safely hold them. My grandmother told how the water hoses would hurdle your dreams at your feet, how the dogs would wait to greet you like a savior's welcome taught me how to sit in a boiling pot without losing your skin and even then found a way to smile, to grin and to bear and fight another day. She used to say, baby, there's a whole world out there trying to stop you from getting ahead. But if you lift your legs high enough when you leap forward, something is bound to stick. But certain death if you do it alone. The river doesn't bet on the dam, the policy doesn't bet on the sward. Not now, not then, is there not higher ground? Who do we trust to listen? Thank you. 
Lady Eleanor. There's no more time. There is no more time. Delayed is too often denied. We won't bow to the ground or sink into our chest. This time, lift every voice and resound a trumpet around Jericho's wall. We will march and take back every church and hall. Our minds, the greatest weapons. The ground beneath us knows our feet. Aren't you tired of stepping back? No more settling like the dust that's been packed down. No more traveled souls. We are the people who can fly. If they won't give us their cages, we will take the sky. Oh, great. 